Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of Diddy Kong Racing and during this episode it should be a shit ton of fun and we're gonna immediately start off with our first plane race ever Hot Top Volcano one of my favorite plane races just cause it's extremely awesome Go! and there is the blue power up because you can't get better than just the normal boosts in the beginning. I'm just normally just not very good at them. One banana, two banana, three banana. Yes. There's a little trick on the boost there. And there's me screwing up on it. And I don't want it. I know I could have just kept them until I picked something else up, but... Oh, I could have shot the dinosaur. Oh, well. I'm going to go for the bananas. I could be hitting zip pads here, but... Once again, I'm not really in that big of a hurry, because I don't think that I'm going to lose, because I'm overconfident, and that's going to bite me in the ass someday. But, it's good for now. <sighs> so, this is my second episode of this Let's Play. I really hope this is recording right, because I've never even gotten to the second episode, because I've had to record the first episode like ten times, because every time the audio kept on screwing up, because Camtasia... It was just not liking me at all. I think I just wasn't letting it compress the audio because I'm really impatient like that. Ugh. If you, you know, one thing I really like that this game did that if you don't know, there is a remake to this game on the DS. And throughout this Let's Play, you'll be hearing me say all little things that are a little nitpicky that I hate about the DS version. I want to shoot that dinosaur. But one of the things that they really changed on the uh, remake that I just never understood is how some characters have, like, all the characters have their own color for their little vehicle, which is cool. And all their vehicles are a certain color, but on the DS version, they're all, like, yellow. Which it just seems so bland and just steals the life from the game. I don't know why. Here's Genie with our eighth balloon. Awesome. Does he have a jewel in his turban? How is that being held up? Is it like sewn into his turban? Alright, we have our first boss battle, which is just epic. And we're just going to... Run away! No, we're going to go in. Let's go in. Oh, I love the voices on all these bosses, guys. They're just extremely hilarious, and I think they changed them all on the DS version. It sounds like he's just has a huge lip in of just chewing tobacco when he's talking there like Row! this first time is pretty easy watch me fly off the edge a couple times though because that's how I roll looks like I get overconfident BAM! shoot you right up the ass I love the music for the boss themes fuck you uh, and there's the boulder which I don't know who would be that far out because you gotta stick to the inside in the boost, and I doubt he'll overtake me for the rest of the race. Now this is pretty simple, like up this first little loop, but once they start getting into the more tighter loops, because that's how this entire race is, it's just one giant spiral, it uh, it gets harder, because you, you start power sliding, and then you start doing some really tight power slides, and you, there's a really good chance of you falling to the edge, or hitting a tree. Oh man, I hate the trees. Like, in every racing game, the trees are just deadly. Even in Grand Theft Auto, if you've ever hit that little palm tr like, not the little palm trees in Grand Theft Auto, but the little tiny trees, you can be going 100 miles an hour, and you hit that tree, you'll just fly out the windshield. You won't fly out the windshield on this game, because there's no windshield, of course, but you'll definitely hit the tree hard, and maybe a coconut will fly off and hit you on the head, because you're dumb. And I'm very dumb, and I'm going to do that like 10 times during this last play. At least I think I'm going to. I don't really know how much how much skills I'm gonna have during this let's play. Like, oh, there we go. That was too hard. Ugh. I'm pretty good at this game in general. Like, I mean, I used to be terrible, but I played it to death for a while, so I've gotten better. Uh, but I don't know how good I'm gonna do with commentary. It's my first time recording and trying to play at the same time, so we'll see. It'll probably just me doing a bunch of absent-minded stuff, driving into driving into water because I'm not paying attention. Oh, uh, well, Mr. Giant Chewing Tobacco Triceratops over there is trying to say is that we have... Oh, shut up, Genie. But uh, what uh, he is explaining is the next part of this game. 
Now, each of the races that we did in Part 1 in Hot Top Volcano, which we did at the beginning of the episode, we now have to do again, and we, this time we have to collect little things, which are silver coins. And a lot of people hate these silver coins so much because they're hard to collect. But I personally love them because they add that extra level of difficulty that you don't see in a lot of these games these days. Go. There, we can pick up my banana and my coin. There's a key over there. I know I see it. But I'm not going to get that yet. I'll get that later. Oh, damn. Someone about shot me. Oh, I about barely missed that palm tree. I'm not really sure. Is that a palm tree? Yeah, that's a palm tree. Oh, oh, three coins on one power slide. Awesome. Oh, I should have just kept it going, like, for a ridiculous amount. And got that fourth coin on the power slide, even though it was beyond its point of helpfulness. But that would have been cool. I love ancient, just going through Ancient Lake, because it's just really fun to power slide through. And you know you're going to win, because it's Ancient Lake, and I don't know anyone who loses on Ancient Lake. Like, I could probably go all the way across. That's what I think I'll do on the third lap. I will not miss that coin again! Damn! Uh, on the third lap, I think I might just go all the way through the lake, just for the hell of it. This, just to prove how easy Ancient Lake is. But to do that, I think I'm going to pick up a boost. So, not because I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through it, just for time-wise. Screw up the dragon's ass! There we go. Or not dragon, why is that a I think it's because I named myself Dizzy Dragon, and I keep on calling that a dragon. That is not the dragon in this game. You'll have to wait till later to see the dragon in this game. Not that there's going to be a dragon or anything. And here's Genie, and he, yes, he does give you an extra balloon for beating the silver coin challenges, even though you've already beaten this track before, but now it's a different race completely just because there's silver coins on the track. This is for you. No, his voice, no, his little cutscene will never change throughout the entire game. He'll be saying this is for you for the entire game, which is about like 40 times. Because I think there's like... 43 balloons and all, which is a weird, really weird number of balloons. Is Fossil Candy the right one? Yeah, it is. I'm get, I always get that one confused with the next race. And this is where the real difficulty really starts to pick up. It starts becoming a little harder st sticking to your lead and get, collecting the coins because you kind of got to go out of your... Because, like, sticking to the... Pa like. You can't always stick to the inside path on these races and collect the coins. Because they put the coins at really awkward spots. And I'm running into walls again. Because that's just what I do. Because I don't pay attention even while I'm racing or driving. If you've seen me drive in real life, you know. Which is bad. <laughs> don't encourage it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how I drive in real life. Just in case my mom ever watches this Let's Play and she goes nuts. Uh, and... Slap two on oh, Mr. Banana. Not Mrs. Zip Pad, that's awesome. But I forgot to let go. Yeah. That dinosaur, I think, might be in every single one of these races. No, it's he's not in the next race. It's the only one he's not in on this whole little thing. Hit the boost. Get that coin. There we go. And we are one shot. I, I think I know where it is, so just don't worry. I don't have as big as a lead as I normally would have. There it is. And I got the zip pad that I can never get. That might just be my own personal trophy for just for this own little episode. Love that missile. Well, I think we have time for... Oh, I thought that was the final lap. I hope we can get through this. Uh, pick up an oil slick. Or not. Uh, the oil slick's weapons that it can stack. It first starts with the oil slick, which just spin you out. You can still keep going forward whenever you spin out, but you lose a lot of speed and control. The second thing it stacks up to is a giant metal ball spike, which will blow you super skyward, and you'll have to uh, completely redo yourself. And this is the bubble, which if you get hit by a bubble, you will probably be cursing a lot because you just got hit with a bubble, and you'll be have to stay in that bubble for like 10 seconds, which is completely ridiculous. That was the one thing about the DS version that I always thought was really weird, because on the DS version of this game, they made it a lot easier. But all the oil slick and like, especially like the bubble and the giant spike have they just completely increased how much like damage they do. Like the spike you go flying off the track and the the bubble like you just sit there in the bubble and just watch like five racers just fly past you. Which I always thought was weird. And see now these the doors have two balloons on them. No, I don't want to go in ancient like again. No, not I don't want to suffer through that. Jungle falls. And this might be the last race we get through on this episode, depending on how quickly I do it. 
I always had trouble with Jungle Falls when I was little. It's just coin in particular because I'd always hit it, and then because I'd never power slide it when I was little, I'd always go straight into that water right there. That's cute. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, that was pretty good. Skip. Oh, my strategy is just get as many coins as you can on the first lap, and then just use the second two laps to pick up the lead again. But you don't have to really make too much of a strategy for these first races. That's what I just normally do in general. I don't like to like try to save certain coins for certain laps, just because if you miss one, then like if like you're on your if you're saving a coin just to get on your third lap and you miss it, then you're just completely boned and you've wasted three minutes of your life and you're never gonna get it back. Ugh. But I like trying to get all of them. I guess that's why I re have to restart. Oh my gosh, why am I just miscalculating the laps? It's like I completely forgot how to do basic math. I haven't taken a math class in two years. There's the shield. I don't know. I, thought the sh I think that the, w the way they designed the shield is a little weird. It's like an energy barrier just around your car. You could have made the stacked versions of it look a little cooler. I think all they do is just change the color on it and make them last longer. And that's all the stacked versions of the shield do is just make it the shield last longer. If I'm, if I, if I'm correct. Like, there's, see, there's this, this crazy music for whenever the genie comes in here that I just think is totally unneeded. This is for you. Uh, I, th I think we hurry. We might have time for a hot top volcano. I might have to stop in the middle of one, but I'm going to try to hurry up just to try to get all these done really quickly. Hot top volcano. If I can get this done really quickly then I can get this all in one video but I don't know and here's a silver coin that sucks because a lot of people can't find it and we go through the entire race and not never find that coin is there a silver coin through here no there's not just miss another one but the four balloons up or bananas so that's pretty cool I always love the music through this place never really get what he's trying to say there, though, in the theme. It's just kind of like mumble-jumbo, he's saying. Uh, see, right now, lap two, I only have one more coin to go, and it's right here, so I don't have to really worry about it. So I can spend these last two laps just focusing on my lead. Like he said, go for it, and I'll be going for it. Do you want? No. I'm going to be saving these rackets. I wanted to get ten rackets. I'm gonna snipe you in the fit or miss completely. I will shoot that freaking dinosaur on the third lap. I because I think he hops. Cause I'm, I don't know why. I, sometimes he hops, sometimes he does it. But if you shoot that uh, dinosaur with a rocket on this level, he will jump. Sometimes I don't know. I'm pretty sure it might be a, just my imagination just making me senile at the old age that I'm clearly am, but. I'm not old. I'm not old at all, just in case you're wondering, but we're going to make this guy jump. Damn it, I don't think he even jumped. I, like, shot him with a flurry, and he just proved me wrong, and I think we're going to do a little spin here. Uh, but we made it through five races in the first boss race, and now we have to go back for another boss race, but I think we are done for this episode of Diddy Kong Racing, so I guess I'll see you guys next time on Diddy Kong Racing, where we will have our rematch with the chew mouth filled Triceratops and see what's up. So I'll see you guys next time on part three of Diddy Kong Racing. See y'all later. I'm going to get to a pause. Peace out, guys.